Okay, now that you've watched the introduction, this will be the second video. And what I'll go through on this is going to be arc welding technical parameters. And when I say that, I mean welding parameters, and they say swing arc, which is actually weaving. So those are the two things that are very common in welding. So we need to know how to set our voltage and amperage on our welding side and our weaving parameters as far as how fast we want to weave and how much or how tall of a uh, how tall we want the weave to be or big should I say so like I said technical you look over here we've got technical so we're gonna hit that now we've got a bunch of options here and uh, this controller is loaded out with a bunch anyways but the arc welding is what we're looking for so we want to say arc welding technical and you see these right here the welding device laser arc tracking you're never gonna mess with those unless you have a laser or uh, seam tracking or something and that'll be in a later video but right now let's get down to the welding parameters okay so we've got welding parameters swing arc and search parameters uh, the search parameters are uh, are more or less touch sensing so these are the two that we're going to focus on today which is welding parameter now you notice when you get in here we've got file number that directly relates to arc start one two three and so on and so forth so and you can use zero so uh, on this one we're going to uh, I'm just gonna go down to one here and we can use the wheel on the side is what I'm doing so uh, like when you do this sometimes you won't have the option but uh, if you don't then uh, all you'll have to do is just scroll down like that and then we can just hit the enter button right there so now we're file number one you can see this is what we have this one set up at so we've got the weld current weld voltage as you're welding that's what you're going to be 200 amps 18 and a half volts these machines like to run lower on the voltage this is our our starting so uh, this is going to this is what it's going to do when it initially starts so if you want it to start out a little hotter we well, can raise that up but for this we're not going to um, arc ending we can actually just have that at 200 um, 24 volts that way we clear the puddle a little bit um, and then the same thing on the remove stick so that's more or less the same thing as your arc ending and uh, you can see we've got timers for both so our arc ending is going to last 0.05 a second the stick is the same way um, we move on over to this side wire feedback in milliseconds so you'll notice that whenever it ends the arc it'll feed back the wire for this amount of milliseconds so if you don't like the way that uh, your wires if you're sticking out too much or not enough this is the setting that you're going to be at here and you'll have to have the wire auto feedback enabled right there so that's a rundown on this and you can set up you can see there's seven settings in there that uh, that we can go through and set up each individual their own uh, schedules more or less is what we call them and then you got a comment field so if you want to comment on something you can but I'm not going to so there's one and we'll go back to zero and that's going to be what it starts up so um, I usually just do things on one and uh, these settings I like for the welding that we're going to do here in a little bit um, now let's go to arc welding we'll, we'll look at the weaving now the technical parameters and see we're that's grayed out because we're in it swing arc okay same thing on this one let's go to schedule one and I just I don't really like to do zero just because it's the first one that pops up and if somebody's rooting around in here they can change your settings on the uh, very first one on accident or something this way that using this you you don't run the chance of someone playing around in your controller and coming in here and changing some of these settings and you not know about it so they would have to physically go to one and change it okay so this is our uh, weave start one so this is our weave schedule one and you have the ability to comment on it and whatever so on this we've got a couple different 
we've got some arc shape and we've got Z shape. Usually what we like to do is Z um, and that's going to get the best results. You've got the stop or move on this and what that move or, or the stop we've got move or rest. You want it to continually move. The frequency is in Hertz. So these are really the two boxes that you really need to worry about. It's going to be the frequency and the amplitude. So the frequency is how fast it weaves. So the lower that number, the slower it is. The higher, the faster it weaves. The amplitude, the same way. That's how much we're weaving back and forth. So two and a half millimeters is what we're going to do. So if you think that your weave is a little bit too big, um, then you can, you can lower this down, but keep in mind, when you lower that down, you're reducing the time it takes, so it may look like it's weaving faster. It's not, it's just that you've lowered the amplitude. So those two work hand in hand together. We have right and left dwell times on that. So uh, you can set those for amount of seconds that you want. And uh, so um, technically that goes in the orientation of the tool. So uh, you can play around with that. So if you got a heavy part on the bottom, light on the top, and you want to dwell on the heavy part, you can do that. Um, and we're, we're just going to leave it at both at zero. That way we get a nice smooth weave. Okay. So now we're going to exit out of this screen. We're back to our programming screen. And uh, on the next video, on video three, we'll show you, we'll get in, into the programming. Um, and uh, maybe show you some uh, circular movements and linear movements on what you're going to see.